Hi, my name is Per. I hope you have had a nice day so far. And today we will talk about, you guessed it right, holdings. So, why do we need a holding in the first place? Well, one reason can be that we have a lot of traffic, so we need to wait for our turn uh, to land. Or maybe we have a technical malfunction that uh, requires attention before we can proceed with the approach. The holding consists of the fix, which can be an NDB, a VUR, or DME distance from a VUR. Then we have the inbound leg towards the fix. Then we have the outbound leg, which can be defined by time or uh, DME distance. And around the pattern we have a five nautic miles of uh, safe boundary zone. The holding procedure, we can say that it consists of two phases. The first phase is uh, entry to the holding, and the second phase is uh, to fly the holding. And we have three different types of entries. And to determine which one to use, I will show you, show you a very simple method. First, we can start with making a line. This will be 270 degrees. This will be 0, 9, 0 degrees. And now, uh, on the holding side, we should draw also a, a line or dotted line. This angle here and this one will be 70 degrees and these two will be 110. So, 270 plus 70 340 degrees and this will be 160. Okay, so now we know what sectors we have in this particular holding. We have an inbound course of 270 and the outbound is uh, 90 degrees. So now we have to figure out where we are. So for example, if you're um, if you have a heading of uh, zero, 010, zero, then you know that uh, you have the, the fix in front of you, then you are on uh, radial 1, 9, or 0 from the fix. So we are somewhere here. And then we know that we can use direct entry. So this sector is direct, this one direct as well. This sector will be parallel. And this sector will be offset. Also known as teardrop entry. And now we will talk more about how the different entries looks like. And also if we are uh, plus minus five degrees uh, of the boundary, we have a freedom uh, of choice. So for example, if we are at uh, one, six, three degrees, somewhere here, then we can choose if we want to use the direct entry or the offset entry. Direct entry is uh, very easy. If you come from this direction, you just proceed to the fix and start a turn, fly the outbound leg for one minute, then you turn in towards the fix again and start your holding. But if you come from, uh, in this case, south, you can proceed to the fix, go 90 degrees against the inbound leg, for uh, 15 seconds if you have no wind. Otherwise, we have to make some head and headwind or and tailwind correction. After uh, 15 seconds, you can turn to the outbound leg 
and uh, fly for uh, one minute and fly back to the fix. So if we have to correct for wind, let's say we have five knots in uh, headwind. That means that we are slower. So we can add the five knots, convert them into seconds, and we will have 20 seconds before we can start the turn to the outbound leg. And when you are on the inbound leg, we should also determine the wind correction angle uh, that we should keep up against the wind to keep the same track. Parallel entry. In this case, we are coming from somewhere here. We proceed to the fix and then we turn in the opposite direction of the inbound track. We time one minute and then we start to turn with right one until we can intercept the inbound course. And it's good to intercept it at approximately 45 degrees. And after that you uh, establish the wind correction angle on the inbound leg and you start the holding procedure. If you have decided that offset or teardrop is the entry to use, you will come from uh, this direction, you will proceed to the fix, and then you should turn uh, 45 degrees from the outbound leg, proceed for one minute, then start the turn and intercept the inbound leg. And then you can continue with the rest of the holding. Now we are between uh, Victor November Oscar VUR and uh, Bildi. We have been instructed to hold at Bildi, not below 5,000 feet. So the example that I showed you before uh, is the holding that we will be flying. At distance 12.5 from uh, the VUR, we have the fix. It will be left turns on inbound radial, uh, inbound radial 070 and outbound leg will be 250. And because we will be coming from, uh, we will have a heading of uh, 250. We will be in the zone of freedom where we can uh, choose which entry we want to do. So I can choose from parallel or uh, offset. I will choose offset because it will be uh, slightly easier. And for the outbound leg, we have no uh, DME, so it will be flown uh, with the help of timing. One minute, because under flight level 140, we should use one minute on the outbound leg and not above 230 knots. If we are above flight level 140, we should use one minute and a half and 240 knots. Uh, as maximum airspeed. And right now I'm uh, following the radial 250 from uh, Victor November Oscar VUR. And when we reach 12.5, I will turn 45 degrees to the right, continue for approximately one minute, and then turn in to intercept the uh, inbound leg. And when we have intercepted the inbound leg, we will determine the wind correction angle and start the holding procedure. And as for now, we have 10 knots in the crosswind component from the right. So we can expect uh, that we need to make some wind correction for example, now we have 10 knots crosswind. We should use uh, two thirds or 66% of the components uh, for correction. So approximately uh, six or seven uh, degrees to the right in this case. So when I get to uh, the fix, first thing I will do 
is to turn to the right, set the heading bug. Then I will uh, turn the um, course to the inbound, 070. And then uh, start the timer. So we're getting closer to the fix now. Now we have not so far left. One nautic mile left. 50. There goes 12.5. We'll set 45 degrees to the right and start a turn. I will try to turn with uh, rate one. I'll set the inbound, 070. And start a timer before we do that. Okay, inbound course set. I started the timer a little bit late so we can remove uh, five seconds. It's on 45 now, so 10 seconds more. Fifty-five, starting the turn towards the inbound. And now uh, comes the tricky part. We should intercept the radial, and uh, we have to um, approximate the distance and speed towards the radial so that we don't overshoot or undershoot it to make it look good. <laughs> 